Hi, my name is Guy Wallace and I'd like to overview with you today in this packed video short the entire PAC processes for training and development, learning, and knowledge management. PACT is an acronym, performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. What can you do with a set of performance models and knowledge and skill enabler data? One, you can organize all of your instructional and information content for reuse capabilities, as well as a focus on performance improvement. The performance model helps you do that, and the enabling knowledge and skill matrices help assure that the enablers are related to the performance requirements of the processes. This helps you organize all of your content into what I call the five-tier content architecture. That covers organizational orientations, performance orientations, or otherwise known as advanced organizers, the enabling knowledge and skills, of which you'll find that that's what the majority of time and effort is spent on in corporate training in terms of acquisition and development. But the focus of the PAC processes is on the how-to, performance how-to's that are either shared across more than one target audience or that are unique to one target audience to assure that the content is authentic and has a greater capability of transferring. PACT is a formal agreement or a bargain between ISD customers and their suppliers. The PAC processes includes five methodology sets, three levels of instructional systems design, curriculum architecture design, modular curriculum development, which is the PAC processes version of ADDI, and instructional activity development, which is a subset of MCD, modular curriculum development. This is all supported by a common approach to PAC analysis that focuses on the target audience, the performance, the enabling knowledge and skills, and the existing content, both instructional and or informational. All of this is supported by a common set of project planning and management tools and techniques. The three levels of ISD impact are intended to provide a holistic approach, a systemic approach to performance to make sure that the content is authentic and that its overlaps and gaps are minimized unless it's overlapped for reinforcement purposes, for refresher purposes, by design. Curriculum architecture is the equivalent of engineering or architecting the entire learning and development path or training and development path, including onboarding and post-onboarding ongoing development. Modular curriculum development, as I said before, is the ADDI level of PACT for developing the equivalent of an event or two or three. It typically follows a curriculum architecture design project, but does not have to. Instructional activity development is when the client needs components of what might be considered traditional formal instruction, such as performance tests, or knowledge tests, or demonstrations, or just the application exercises. This enables one to meet the client's immediate needs with the possibility, the potential, of meeting the long-term needs for a typical learning event. The PAC process data logic is all-inclusive and links together performance analysis data with curriculum architecture design data and modular curriculum development and instructional activity development data. PACT is a data approach to performance-based instruction and information. The five-tier content architecture enables one to link to the existing organization structure 
as part of the orientations and then uses performance analysis data unique to each target audience to identify and construct the performance orientations of Tier 2 and the how-tos of Tier 4 and 5, where in Tier 4 the content is shareable across other target audience who have the same performance expectations as well as the unique authentic content required for unique performance. The enabling knowledge and skills are shared such as active listening or other interpersonal skills, various policies and procedures that across more than one target audience. However, a policy and procedure as well as active listening may play out differently in an authentic performance context. Although the core truths of active listening are the same for everyone, the definitions, the examples, the demonstrations, and most importantly the application exercises might be very different from one target audience to the next. Curriculum architecture design projects lead to multiple MCD and IAD, module curriculum development and instructional activity development efforts. However, as with the CAD process where one is, anal however, in the analysis phase of CAD, one is always looking at the existing content, so it could have been the case that a several priority MCD or IAD efforts were undertaken prior to doing a curriculum architecture design project. PACT is flexible. It allows you to meet the customers and your clients and their stakeholders' immediate needs, and then, as appropriate to the needs, do the rest of the efforts if there is truly a return on investment for doing that. Some target audiences should only receive MCD efforts. Other more critical, in fact the most critical target audiences of an enterprise probably should have a curriculum architecture design effort done for it to produce a performance-based training and development or learning path unique to their position. An example of a training and development path is provided here. This is something that is made up based on a real project that I've conducted. The path has four segments, although it originally started with three, a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning or phase one of this path is intended to provide the organizational orientations, all the tier one content of the five tier content architecture, all of the advanced organizers of the Tier 2 that provides an overview of the performance that's required. It provides then the it then provides the critical immediate survival skills that are required by the target audience covering the enabling knowledge and skills and the how-to's that are shared or unique. I hope that this video short and the series have been helpful to you in helping you to establish a practice of performance-based training and development, learning and knowledge management. I have been conducting, writing and presenting on these methods since the early 1980s. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in much greater detail.